Okay, well, I'm going to perform a little couple of acapellas. Well, one acapella, then we're going to talk a little bit. And then we'll do another acapella um, towards the end of it. If at any point during anything I'm saying, you've got any, uh, any questions or anything you want to add, just raise your hand, get involved. It's not me talking at you guys. This is a two-way thing. It's an end of year discussion. It's really a celebration, you know. You, you've come this far. Now That's it's time right. to move on to the next level. That's right. And it's, it's time to understand how what we do here, when you get to my age now. And I remember when I was 15, 16, and people used to tell me, blah, blah, blah. And they'll be 27, 28. I've just turned 28 a couple of days ago. I think, right, ah, oh, wait. Well. You understand what I'm saying? And then, as you go through the cycle yourself, you start to see all the same things that people said to you. And you see how the decisions people make right now, this mm. moment in time, what you are all going through right this minute, how they will determine where you are 10, 12, 14 years from now. But anyway, like I said, we'll come back to that on my personal kind of story and journey and how I think that can maybe hopefully inspire you, some of you guys, or maybe not, maybe just look at some lessons that I've been through, but without further ado, we'll get into a little something, listen. Sorry kids, let me apologise before I go further, unfortunately, I don't rap about how many blacks I've murdered, and some may find it boring, appalling, and I ain't scoring blaps from the little rap packs for merely stating facts, like not ability to murder man lyrically, just thought killing shouldn't be glorified, silly me. Apparently, murdering man has become an aspiration, but what would happen if you reverse the situation? And every black rapper claiming they clap a black in the face, rapped about killing white people as much, would they still get embraced? That's right. <laughs> or would you find the applauding we could turn to appalling, and you got no career here by the next morning, and I ain't saying we should do that. That ain't gonna help us free our sons. Just pointing out how absurd it has become. If a Chinese rapper were to say, die, chink, die, even we would be like, what is wrong with this guy? But some of us have become so accustomed to just behave disgusting We think it's just our behaviour and it ain't worth discussion Or worse yet, that is cultural expression But who owns Beretta? And who owns Smith & Wesson? Hmm. Who owns the cars I'm Come on! on. Hey. Defining who we are, we're running from ourselves and finding no, no hiding So we can boast about our Prada and our Christian Dior. Dior Still security will follow us when, when we're in, in the store. store And we can boast about our platinum chains and little diamond rings While kids in Sierra Leone keep on losing limbs Act like we got no brain we ain't got no shame And say so what I'm getting though But we're pawns in the game They're laughing at the little coons Who really think we're goons Real goons don't wear platinum chains They, they wear ties, ties and suits they don't Jeez 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 Jeez, Jeez. Jeez. Rewind, rewind, rewind Rewind that line Rewind that line big man Rewind that line soldier Rewind that one again. Real grooms don't wear platinum chains. They wear ties and suits. They don't live in estates and sell flake. They invade with guns and, and take your whole state. state. Mate. So pardon me if I don't find it funny. We boast about it, but do we even know what is money? See, it's hard to act dumb when you, you read a couple of hundred books. books. But still, if anybody should, so tell me who is shook. When you've been to Brazil and stood in favela streets Next to kids holding hand grenades and M16s When you come back to London it ain't serious We make it more right. ghetto with the way we think like we're delirious If we lived in them real slums without food or running water Where police drive by and kill sons and daughters We'd give our right arm just for the chance to go to school instead What do we do? The killer that you're gonna play the fool when I ain't saying school is the answer Educate yourself See it's not the money you make You, you are you, the wealth You, you, yeah. you you, 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 you are the wealth And I ain't saying we ain't got a struggle right here in Britain But we're taught to act in fear with you and play position perfectly It's disturbing me, the verbal murder be absurd to me It occurred to me if you have not heard of me It's probably because I don't rap about you, she or booty Quite enough for the urban team to fully salute me But I don't really care, I'm too busy writing my master thesis It's hard to play the stereotype when you study Egypt plus Urban seem a racist to ourselves. In elevating words of hate, we're merely hating ourselves. And if you are musically broad or dare to speak intelligent, people look at you like, who the hell do you think you're better than? I'm better than no one on this earth, and I know I'm not. But I refuse to play small just, just to, to fit, fit in their box. box. And I don't hate none of the other rappers. In fact, it's quite the other. Look at me as your bigger, wiser, older brother. And as a brother, should I tell you you're in trouble if they clap when you celebrate killing? Do they, they really, really love you? you? If record label bosses, kids were dying, would they sell us violence quickly? Yes, they're ready to desensitize us. They tell you to shit on the floor, holding all the scoops. Throw you a bone like a dog, jumping through a hoop. Don't take it as a compliment. 
Because it's, it's not, not that. that. If I tell you that you're African, you, you tell, tell me it's, it's not that. that. But humanity is African. <laughs> Even if not black. <laughs> She's going oh. to She could get blocked. Hey. Jeez. It's so inconvenient for those at the top that you talk too much truth, you might just get popped at. And if women are such hoes that we don't want to kiss them, what does it say about us that we still want to put our dick in? <laughs> oh! 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 What does it say about us that we still want to put our dick in? Shit, I'm done with the lies. Third eye open, open wide. wide. See, the tougher that you act, the weaker you really feel inside. So all the killer, the trigger, and when we call ourselves and want platinum chains bigger than jiggers, it's just to run from the fact that we feel You're insecure. Get as many things as you want, but it cannot restore the core of who you are truly. That also past beauty. That comes from knowledge of yourself and, and a sense, sense of duty. duty. So all my brothers still claiming that we are thugs. No, if we're honest, we just want to be loved. Mm. But we feel that we're not worthy. And, that and we're, we're not, not smart. smart. So we act aggressive to protect our fragile little hearts, but we got to deal with this pain. Or it will consume. That's enough honesty. Now let's resume. Turn this off, go back to rappers that tell us kill. But inside of ourselves, we know that this is real. A Carla, this was from SBTV. Double <laughs> things out now, check the CD. If you want a little knowledge bigger than college, I promise you the metaphorics that will offer you solace like the Great Pyramid hmm. has 2.3 million stones. If you took hmm. them apart and placed them in a row, they would stretch two thirds of the weight around, around the, the earth. earth. That is more stone than it is in every single British, British church ever put together. Yeah. Each stone cut with a degree of accuracy of one one thousandth of an inch. Well, what does that mean? In 1978, the Japanese ran an experiment to rebuild them with modern technology and felt terribly. terribly. Anyway, that's, that's enough, enough for today. today. <laughs>